We have discussed open circuit tests and short circuit tests. Uh, they were for the small transformers. But when it, come, it comes to large power transformers, then uh, we cannot have that much of energy wasted and may not may be possible that uh, uh, that much of energy is not available at that time. So what to do with the power transformer? The solution for that is your load test that is called also plus back to back test as well it is also called as the heat run test. So this is actually done for uh, to determine the steady temperature rise of transformer. It requires two identical transformers which are connected in parallel in the primaries and the secondaries are connected in a phase opposition. We will see the uh, diagram first of all. <coughs> A voltmeter is connected first part of this. Then after that, a voltmeter is connected. We'll be giving name as W1. Then an emitter will be connected. Then the actual transformer will be coming and we will be doing it by blue color so that we will be able to understand from where the transformer started. These are the two primaries of the transformers. Which are connected in such a fashion that they are in parallel. This is my transformer 1, this is my transformer 2, and both the transformers are in parallel right now. So the current one here will be like somewhat like this. So from the second race now. Uh, this is the transformer ratio, I think. This is the actual notation of the transformer. So my secondaries will be coming now, which are such connected that they are in phase opposition. Phase opposition means there will be no circulating current in this. Sorry, it should be minus and this should be plus. So that there will be no circulating current in the secondary, and this will be recorded uh, since there is no current from EMF, it should be there. So the EMF of both the points, let's say your A and B points, so should be such that that there should not be any circulating current in the secondary. In this here, I'll be having one watt meter again. I'll be making it by another color. So that we will be able to understand. And this will be coming as here. So this I will be naming as W2. And I will be continuing with this point. This one point will be called as AB. And uh, again, this will be. This port meter is not having any significance in the uh, test actually, but it will only be telling us whether there is any circulating current here or not. Now, when I connect this transformer uh, by a supply here, <coughs> rated voltage will just start running over here, and since these are in phase opposition, no. Uh, current is flowing over here right now. Only the current is flowing over here, and since that's, it is like open circuit test, you know, nothing is over here. So, this W1 will start reading the core losses. This will read the core losses. Now, by some external means, what I will do, I will supply a rated current in. The secondary winding such that only the rated current is flowing here. Now, 
Now, when the rated current has started flowing here, only this W2 will start getting the ohmic losses. So, now I got such an arrangement where my W1 is continuing regarding the total core losses of the transformer, whereas my W2 is regarding the total ohmic losses of the transformer. Now, this is a very important point regarding uh, load test, uh, load test that this core process which is recorded by W1 are half of for single transform means W1 is equals to 2 P C which is called core process and W2 will record the 2 P ohmic process. Means for single transformer, it will be the half of the W1. That is to be remembered first of all. And the second thing which is very important in, uh, to remember is that W1 will read only the core losses, W2 will read only the ohmic losses. Third thing is this one. So coming to the uh, temperature right, which is which we have said that it is a heat rate test. It is done uh, uh, as this test is done for several hours. For very much uh, uh, approximately uh, 10 to 15 hours, this test is continuously done on large power transformers. Since now I am supplying uh, only the losses, so uh, it will be telling us about the heat uh, temperature, right? So, up to certain point where the maximum steady state uh, temperature is reached, this test is done and uh, we will get the temperature rise of the transformer. So, we can have the uh, temperature stability of the Transformers. So uh, we will be now and, uh, knowing the, uh, the uh, advantage and disadvantages of this test. <coughs> PDV stands for advantage and these are the disadvantages of the transformer. Uh, in this we will be, uh, we will be uh, seeing uh, what are the what are the advantages? So first of all, I will be getting steady state temperature rise. I will be having steady state temperature rise. This is the advantage of this transformer. The second advantage is only losses are to be supplied. As I already said that only losses are to be supplied in this, uh, this is a very uh, good uh, test when it comes to large power transformers. Because if I will be having this transformer test on some other way, I have to supply whole uh, uh, voltage, whole current over there, it will not be possible that that, that, that much of uh, voltage and that much of current is available at that time, that much of power is available at that time. Uh, this test is very useful for power transformers. So the disadvantage of this thing is that two identical transformers are required. May not be possible that there are uh, so in certain uh, ways I will be having uh, the total uh, two types, two identical transformers at the same time. Uh, there is also a possibility that uh, I may not be having a uh, transformer alive. So there will be a difference here when I come to circuit bridge. So this is a very big disadvantage of the transformer. Second disadvantage is that uh, there is a no information about the parameters. Uh, since R0, X0, R1, X1 are very much important when a transformer is constructed and transformer is fixed. Uh, 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 put into the supply actually, into the supply means. So at that time R0, X0, R1, X1 are very important. So uh, we will not be having an idea of uh, parameters. Means R0, X0, R1, X1. We won't be able to find R0 and 
as you know, or when I, so this is also an important point regarding when I uh, say uh, about the objective type of questions, I should be knowing uh, which type of test is then to, to work. So this type of test is um, not able to give the, the parameters. This uh, question has been asked in examination that which type of test among the following doesn't give the uh, parameters of equivalent circuit. So the answer is your load test. Now coming to another part which is called as the polarity test. Polarity test. This is a very important test when it comes to paneling of a transformer. Paneling of a transformer we will be discussing in the uh, next uh, uh, topic. Then this test we will be discussing about the polarity test now. Actually, this test is done uh, to know the proper polarity of the transformers. What are the proper polarities? We will see. We will be having a single transformer. This is done on exactly a single transformer. Both the primaries and secondaries are there. It's shown over there. We will give an arbitrary plus and minus, plus minus over here. This is V1, this is V2. Any of the, this is my primary side, this is my secondary side. This test can be done from either side, from the primary side also, from the secondary side also. The very important thing is that both the primary and uh, secondary are put into series by a jumper bar and a voltmeter is connected on the other side. These polarities are marked by me, arbitrarily marked by me and uh, if this test is given, giving me the result in such a way that the voltmeter marked V which is this voltage is like V1 minus V2. If I am conducting this test from the primary side, if I am getting V1 minus V2, then it means that the polarity which I have marked is correct. If not, if V is equal to V1 plus V2, I am getting like this. So it means that the either of the polarity of primary or secondary is to be changed uh, for the proper polarity. This test is very important, as I said, for paralleling of the transformer. We will continue with the paralleling of the transformer now.